Everybody, welcome back to our channel. Chris from Team Aquascape. We've got this Chris, the other Chris, where is he at over there? We've got Luis, we've got Juan, and we are in this incredible new perennial garden out here on the campus of Wheaton College. You guys ready for this one? Let's go! We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The easiest way to learn something is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Like I said, we are out here on the campus of Wheaton College and we are in an incredible perennial garden that was just donated and just installed only about a month ago. Wheaton College brought us in because part of the landscape design of this space was they wanted to bring the sights and sounds of running water into this already amazing space and it's so juvenile. But right now what the guys are doing is covering up this whole patio walkway area that goes all the way around. And you can see it's already been planted up gorgeous. We've got some sedum, we've got a signature ginkgo through here beautiful perennial garden i can't wait to see this thing mature it's just going to look absolutely incredible we've got coneflower we've got salvia we've got black-eyed susan hydrangeas butterfly bushes you know this is such an incredible space it's been planted exquisitely and now it's our turn to bring running water or to bring our touch into this garden by putting a pondless waterfall into this space over here reservoir is going to sit right around here and then we're going to do kind of this lazy river babbly brook type thing upper pool starting over there and then just focus way more on the movement of the stream than our normal cascades waterfall dramatic drops that kind of stuff there's no grade change in through here we'll only be able to elevate the upper pool that starts the waterfall probably three to four inches above grade because we don't want to have this big massive retaining wall and that's really not what they're looking for it's just gonna be more of a babbly brook style so can't wait to see this project come together it should go should go fingers crossed relatively quickly and easily and we shouldn't have too many challenges but I want to get everything covered up so that when we come in here, we're not going to make a big mess and then have to clean it all up later. You guys ready for this one? Put eight aqua box in here. We're almost done digging the reservoir out. We dug it considerably lower than the depth of the aqua box. We're close to about 20 inches there. The reason we dug it so deep is I wanted to drop the top of the blocks so that we could build a waterfall coming into the basin to scale with the property. And since we can't build up, we had to sink these aqua blocks down so that we can get somewhat of a significant waterfall dropping into it. So we have three or four more wheelbarrows to get out of here. Plus the pump vault needs to get excavated. But right where Juan's at is the depth and elevation that we want to be. So before we throw the liner and fabric in, I'll be sure to lay the aqua blocks in and show you the difference in depth between the top of the blocks and existing grade into the So as promised, I wanted to show you guys the reason that we put the aqua box so low. You can see the reservoir is in. We got our eight aqua box. Remember, we actually have eight smalls in here, but we ended up cutting one to sit in front of the pump vault. So this will still occupy water, but just remember that. So over here, I'm gonna pull this liner back. Right underneath this fabric right here is our pavers, All right? So that's elevation. So coming over here, go ahead and get, I wanna get this level right about there, right? So you can see the bubble between the line so right now, the top of patio is the bottom of the level here, which only is about six inches, uh, maybe nine inches actually. So the reason I sunk these aqua blocks down is because of the thickness of my rocks. I don't really have anything that's paper thin over there. So I needed to compensate for the thickness of those rocks on top of the basin. And I also wanted to try and get a small waterfalls dropping into the reservoir. So we're gonna go ahead and drop in one of our main stones. It's a larger stone. It's probably the biggest stone on the project. That's going to be a frame rock, but it's also gonna set the elevation for everything back over here as well. So I'll show you once we get the stone in and how close that is to top of patio and why I set it that way. All right, so quick little update. We've got a few rocks set down on the basin, which I know you can't see right now because we've got the liner peeled back. You guys are working on the plumbing. We have an SLD four to 7,000 gallon per hour pump in through here, which is definitely more than enough pump than they can use, but the guys are working on plumbing everything up. Notice over here, there's no check valve assembly. So we've got a union and then we're going to discharge that pipe running that way out of the pump vault So we had to drill a two and a half inch hole. We're gonna do that Perfect and then the other setup that we're going to do is that union is gonna run horizontally rather than vertically So when we orient the pump in here We want to make sure that this union is not running vertically because it's very challenging to line up that pump When connecting and disconnecting the pump especially when it's full of water So good job of keeping 
it horizontal, keeping it up top and up high so that we can be able to access it. We're also gonna put an automatic fill valve in here, which we'll show you later on in the video. While these guys are working on the plumbing, we're gonna go ahead and finish the excavation. That man and I are gonna keep digging. So what Chris and Juan are doing over here is they're dumping in some of these cobbles to help finish off these edges. Let me show you what we're doing with those three to five inch cobbles. So you can see we've got these little washes in through here. We used a lot of it down here in the basin. The reason we opted to not do some of that small gravel is because we really don't want things to get clogged, you know, nearly as frequently as if they had small gravel, which has a lot less space in between. And I like it that it breaks up the monotony of the rock as well as the small gravel. So check this out. So we've got our reservoir done. No, it doesn't look like much yet. We still have a lot of grade work left to do, but our aqua blocks are all underneath here. We've got a spill stone there between these two frame rocks over here. And then here's that profile of the stream. So what's cool about it is this waterfall is gonna fall this way. And then you've got another waterfall right back over there between those rocks, which will face more of this direction in through here. And then we just have an upper pool that Chris is working into. We've got our 22 inch spillway diffuser underneath. You can kind of see right underneath there. There's our spillway. We've got a rock on top of it. Yes, it is rated to handle that. So we're gonna go ahead and just cobble wash this. Little gravel in there. The top of it is actually below the height of the spill stone that that can of foam is on, which sets water level in this whole upper pool area. So really, really cool effect. It'll just like a natural spring fed stream in through here. And I love the twisty turniness of it. And I can't wait to finish off these edges. So we're getting very close to buttoning up the water feature itself. We have a heck of a lot of clean up left to do but it's super fun and inspiring walking around the gardens and then just kind of taking cues from the whimsical nature of the garden the interactive pathways that kind of stuff so we want to make sure that we're really trying to capitalize on all the viewing angles that this whole complete garden provides You guessed it. I don't know if you can hear it, but we made it. We hit the finish line, hit our deadline, and we got this project done in one day with three and a half guys. Luis had to cut out a little early, so Juan, Chris, and myself wrapped up this amazing project in this gorgeous courtyard, and it's just been so much fun. We've had visitors all day, and it's just been such a pleasure to work on this project, knowing that it's something so special for not only the donors that contributed to making this project happen, but also Wheaton College and all of the people that go to school here, the faculty, and of course all the people here in Wheaton who pass by this incredible site every single day. So, so fun. Without further ado, here we go. So we've got that upper pool. This looks like a spring-fed stream up in here. Cascades down through a small little four inch waterfall there. Upper pool, twist turns, works its way back into here and then over here, drops down into that reservoir there. And then we've got cobble landslide coming out that'll help with the overall maintenance that it just looks incredible. We overfilled it so you can see there's some pooling water down in there, but just so, so fun. Tom, Randy, Jay, the rest of the guys here at Wheaton College are gonna take very good care of planting it. So hopefully we'll be able to get you some finished shots before the end of this video. Thanks everybody. Till next time, we'll see you later. Have fun, be good, love all of you.